Hello, darlings. This is Miss McKinney, and I'm limited to 15 minutes, so we may feel like this is a little bit fast. I believe you can rewind it and watch a part as long as you don't answer the question. Um, you know that goes after it so it should be August 20th and 21st or afterwards make sure you've done all of these Khan Academy lessons and you've played Prodigy that's your practice and this is your quiz so this Ed Puzzle quiz is for a grade and you need to make sure that you realize that and so the first thing you're going to do is you are going to type the academic integrity and principled action statement so in just a second, it'll prompt you to type, I have neither given nor received any unauthorized help on this assignment. So you may not ask any friends, you may not Google anything, you may not use any calculators, anything like that. So go ahead and type this. Next, I'm going to have a quick review and then I'll ask you questions kind of intermittently. So if you have a cube like this, it is, stands for 1,000. A square stands for a hundred, a long bar stands for ten, and these little cubes stand for ones. You probably remember this from elementary. So if you have one thousand, and then two hundreds, four tens, and four ones, then you would take those and add them up, lining up your ones places. And you come up with the number one thousand two hundred forty-four. One thousand two hundred forty-four. So now, this is a hundred, tens, and ones. What number does this represent? These are thousands, tens, and then we have ones. What number does this represent? All right, awesome job. So then a quick review of place value. Here we have 85,026,139. And you can see we have the ones place, tens place, hundreds place. Your decimal would be right here. After the comma, we have thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, and so forth. What is the place value of the number seven in 63,478. In the number 92,461,006, how many hundred thousands are there? So in a whole number, the decimal is at the end. So if you buy something at the store and it's $5, then you know it's going to go after the five. And you might have zero cents over here, and that's okay. But the whole number is five dollars, and the decimal goes afterwards. In the number 728, the decimal is going to be after the eight. So it's going to be 728 and then a decimal. This is going to be important later on, so you're welcome to write notes. So where is the decimal? in the number 1,284. Where is the decimal if you buy something for $349? Then we have expanded form. The first way we're going to do it is we're going to do it in this method. All right, so 7,294. The seven really stands for 7,000. The two for 200. The nine for 90. And the four for just four ones. So using that method of expanding it like this, write the expanded form of 1,024. Next, we're going to talk about exponents. Since our number system is based on tens, we can move the decimal every time we multiply by 10. So when you see exponents, I know in elementary they may have taught you that's the number of zeros, and that works really well for this system. But in a minute, I'm going to trick you if that's what you're going by. So I need you to click over to middle school level 
And at the middle school level, I need you to understand that our number system is based on tens. And this exponent tells you how many times you move the decimal. So 10 to the zero power is the same thing as one times 10 to the zero power. And so you move the decimal, which would be right here at the end of it, right? Zero times. Cool. This is the same thing as one times 10 to the first, because anything times one is itself, right? So one times 10 to the first is the number one, and the decimal will be right after it. And you move that decimal one time. So you're gonna go whoop, remove the decimal one time, and we get the number 10. In 10 to the second power, it's the same thing as one times 10 to the second power. So we have the number one with the decimal after it, and we move that decimal two times. Whoop, whoop. I call those dippy doos, by the way. And so now we have the number 100. And I'm gonna go ahead and skip down here. This is one times 10 to the fourth. So we start with the number one. The decimal would be here. And because our number system is built on tens, we, this shows us that we move that decimal four times. One, two, three, four, and it ends up with the number 10,000. So you can go all the way up on these. So notice that 10 to the sixth, you start with one and you move the decimal six times and you end up with a million. So now we have five times 10 to the fourth. So we start with the number five and the decimal would be after the five. And we can put as many zeros as we want. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that decimal four times to make a bigger number because our number system is built on tens. So I'm gonna take that decimal and I'm gonna move it one, two, three, four times. And my final answer, if you wanna put a comment in there, that helps, is 50,000. So I took the five and put a decimal afterwards and then I moved it one, two, three, four times. And my answer is 50,000. So now, what is 78 times 10 to the sixth? Now, here's our challenge question, be careful. What is 6.2 times 10 to the third? All right, now we're gonna combine some of these things that we've learned. So remember your Ad Puzzle quizzes not only quiz what you know, but also what you can apply. So we're gonna have some challenging questions. So we're gonna do expanded notation or expanded form, same thing, with those exponents. So we have the number 8,120. So this is 8,000 plus 100 plus 20. And we don't have any ones, so we're not gonna worry about those. So we have eight times a thousand plus one times a hundred plus two times 10. And we're gonna put these numbers that have just the ones and zeros into exponents. So we have eight times 10 to the third, because remember 8,000, you start with eight and you have the decimal afterwards and you move that decimal one, two, three times. Here we start with a one and we're gonna move that decimal two times because we have a base 10 number system. So we have one and you move it one, two times. That's where we get the two. And then we get a two right here by moving the decimal one time. If we would have had something in the ones place, we would move the decimal zero times and that's okay. So you could also write plus zero times 10 to the power of zero. All right, so you might wanna write, write that down and see it, it's kinda of weird looking. How do we write the number 623 in exponential expanded form? So very similar to this example.
What number does this make? All right, so make sure you remember that you did do that academic integrity statement at the beginning of our Edpuzzle quiz. And then I'm going to ask you as your last question for our quizzes to mark the help that you used on this quiz. Thank you for your honesty, and you've survived your first math Edpuzzle for the year. See you in class.